Hi, hello, welcome back. This is James Aurea from Yorkship. Um, today we're going to be looking at a pop-up model box. I just want to show you what that means. Uh, this is one of the prototype I'm working on. Um, it's for an online marketplace. Yeah, what I mean by pop-up model box, you know when you go to a website and you click on a link, probably maybe login or sign up or any form of link and you and you see a box like this. Yeah, this is what it's called, pop-up model box. Um, you have to implement it with jQuery and things like that if you are using HTML, CSS. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can develop this using ActionRP. Very easy, not much complicated. Again, you you tap on, you click on this button, it shows, and I've implemented here. When you click on this, it's you know the idea is to basically have it in such a way that you have um, a link and then when you click that link a box or a window pops out and with the information and you can just walk through that mostly it's used within login and sign up and other forms of maybe search as well so i'll just show you how this is done and let's go to our actual rp software yep so now what we need to do is it, this is just a simple tutorial, so I'm not going to make anything fancy like the sample I've showed you, alright? I'm just going to show you something, so let's make this 100, um, 1000, rather. Let's make this um, blue again, and remove the border. Okay, so what we need to do is, um, let's put this at center, and yeah, that's it. So, what we when we've done that, we need to... Let's use another rectangle shape here. We're just going to call this, um, let's just stick a, a text here. Let's say pop up moda box. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oops. Moda, pop up moda. Yeah. I said dialogue. That's correct. Uh, dialog box. All right. Let's just give it increase it to let's say forty. No, too big. Let's say thirty. Mm, so let's say twenty-five. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That's fine. That's what we need. So, um, before we can utilize that, we need to convert this dialog box into a dynamic panel. Uh, because what we are doing is something that is dynamic so we need to use dynamic panel to achieve that and we convert this to dynamic panel and I'll just say call this pop up model box dialog all right so once we've done that what we need to do we are just gonna before because we need an interaction less uh, let's get button and let's just put the button here and let's call this button let me give this button a color and let's call it load mode dialog yep okay so we've done that let's remove the highlight the border okay so next thing we need to do is we've converted this to motor box and we need to be able to do that um pop up right so what we need to do next is to go to our widget interaction you see here when they say where it says a uh, on click mouse enter we're just going to use the on click event and we go to but before we do that we need to make sure that when the page loads, this is hidden. If you if we preview this page now, you can see that the design is hidden. So there will be no, it's not going to make sense having this box displayed while uh, the page is loading. So we need to hide this widget. So just take this little thing, just beside the height just stick it and say yep hide it so now once we go back here and we say refresh you can see the image is gone and 
this we've not really done anything interaction in it so we can't actually interact with that widget yet so we go back to actual and what we need is to use the unclick event and we go to widget and we say show because we've hidden it we need to say show and then we look at the dynamic panel we've created which is the pop-up motor box we select that we check the show and we say animate now we, we can animate by fading by sliding right sliding left down up so what we're gonna do is we're going to use slide down and once we've used slide down then you can set the milliseconds how you want it to appear very fast or very slowly we're just gonna leave it at 500 then the next option we need to do to achieve this sample here you have this pop-up motor box and you have a gray background overlaying the main page itself so you can actually distinguish from this box and from the other parts because everywhere is, looks dark and if you right click everything is back to normal so we're just going to do that let's go back to action now and once we've select the dialog box we've checked the visibility which is the show the animate we've choose slide down we're now going to use the more option for the pop-up model so we're going to use the treat as light box we select the treat as light box and the background color you can effectively change it but I'll just advise you to leave it at the um, at the default color but it depends on your requirements you can decide to change it to any color if you want so we eat on um before we eat on okay we need to go to this section which says bring to front and then we tick on the dialog box again the dynamic panel and the order we want we want it to be at the front of the page so the idea is the pop-up model ball is going to be at the front of the background that we've set so that is the blue background on the screen so we hit ok and that's pretty much it so let's preview this and let's see if we've been able to achieve uh, what we want to do in this tutorial today so we hit um, actually I've already done it so let's refresh the page now if you look at it before you you can see any cursor you know icon displayed but now there is a there's an interaction with this widget so it's showing us that we can click something and you know something can happen so if we click on it let's see what happens wow you see now we have this pop-up mode box and you can effectively just play around with it your pop-up mode box can have your login screen it can have your sign up screen like you've seen here i've just practically done something like that which is you know you, you can have it like a form everything and you can it and it can go into another page as well it's very handy when you want to minimize uh, your number of pages sometimes it, it for me to say i want to search or buy something from this website for example if i click on buy or going into another page creating just simple fields on a big page it's not um, a good thing and for effective user experience as well it's very um, it's recommended for you to use the pop-up model box yeah and also it's gonna make your prototype looks okay you know this is developed by the way using actual RP as you can see completely and Let's go back to the project. We click on it again and we have that. And if you click anywhere on the page, the pop-up mobile box disappeared as you would normally see on any website. You click on it again, you learn it. So I hope you've been able to learn something new about the pop-up mobile box and how you can implement it using Action RP and also using dynamic panel within Action RP and also working with the interaction with the on-click event. 
if you like this tutorial and if you want to know more about how to implement such feature within your wireframe drop me a comment and i'll be glad to um answer them also like our comment below and also share our video as well um, i hope you've been able to enjoy this tutorial once again thank you for watching and see you later bye